beautiful people. <laughs> Anyways, hello you beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Just adjust my backrest because I am old AF. <laughs> um, hello, welcome back. I'm Lucy Stevenson, but you can call me Luce because we're all friends here. If you are new, please don't forget to hit subscribe. Give this video a thumbs up because it really helps with my channel and turn that notification bell on because you don't want to miss any of my future videos. I do normally upload on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays, but it's cray cray at the moment so I'm just uploading all the time as much as I physically, mentally emotionally can <laughs> I'm uploading today as you can tell by the thumbnail and the title I am beyond beyond excited to reveal the I Heart Revolution and Trek collection this is a huge collection I cannot wait to show you everything like we have like a little bit of of everything I have so many videos planned to review this I'll break it all down at the end and let you know what I'm going to be reviewing in what video and yeah let's just get straight into it because it's going to be four videos back to back of Shrek. Let's go. <laughs> so obviously today is all about the reveal and yeah let's just get straight into it because I, honestly there's so much stuff I can't even can't even hold it all up for you. If you're wondering anything about my lip combination that I have on, it is the Revolution Satin Kiss Lip Liner in the shade White, Wed White Wedding. What happened there with the Doll Beauty lipstick in the shade Dolled Out, which just looks like this. So, first up, we have the Shrek and Revolution Happily Ever After Shadow Palette. And look, it has the characters on the back. Oh my god! So, this retails for £20, $25, €21.99 or 40 Australian Palettes, Palettes, 40 <laughs> Australian dollars. I'm just so excited to show you this and this is what this bad boy looks like and then when you open it up inside it has a organ mirror it says happily ever after on it and then obviously this is the colour story for this palette so this is what the palette looks like so we have a mixture of shimmers and mattes and we have quite like a different array of colours in here We've got a couple of greens, we've got some blues, some pinks, we've got a couple of nudes, a little touch of like purples. So yeah, that is the Happily Ever After palette. Next up we have this bad boy. So this is the By Night One Day, By Day Another palette. And I love this because it actually changes. So she goes from Fiona to Fiona. <laughs> I absolutely love this. This retails for £15, $18, €16.99 or €30 Australian dollars and then this is what the inside looks like. Honestly, the names of these shadows are absolutely iconic. So we have King Harold, Magic Mirror, Princess, Queen, Enchanted Kingdom, Loaded Pistol, Rescue, Transform, Love, Day, yeah. Absolutely love this and I love that day is like a like a sparkly blue and then night is like a darker like brownie colour. So yeah, that is the by night one way, by day another palette. I've got to admit this next one I think is my absolute favourite packaging wise. Oh, honestly. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love it. So this is the Shrek Shadow Palette and this retails for £20, $25. £21.99 Euros or 40 Australian dollars. I just, I just love that it's just Shrek's head. <laughs> Honestly, like the actual like packaging for this has been done so well. I feel like the actual whole collection just like it, it really kind of like summarizes Shrek up perfectly. And like it feels like every single like little detail has been done right. So this is what it looks like. <laughs> I love it, absolutely love it. And then when you open it up, it has a big mirror on the top and then this is what the actual palette looks like and it's got little <laughs> little Shrek heads on it. So all of the matte shades have the little Shrek imprint and then there's also um, shimmers in here. I feel like out of all of them, this is the palette that I feel like has like the most like cohesive colour story to it. And like I look at this and I can immediately think, I know what eye look I'm gonna do with this. There's such a nice like selection of mattes and shimmers yeah, I just feel like this has just been done so well, so well. So like some of the names are Onions, Swamp, Ogre, Triplets, oh, Raw, um, Beware, Garden, Fun, Grub Pace, Adventure. Yeah, I just think this palette is probably going to be my favourite. Like, oh, absolutely love it. And like, look at the packaging. It has like all like details of like Shrek and Donkey on it. I just think it's been done 
so well. So that's like the top of it and then that's the bottom half of the palette. I'm so excited for what look I'm going to do with this. Like I cannot wait to get this on my eyeballs. So yeah, that is Shrek's palette. Mm. So in the collection as well, we also have some different little mini palettes. So there's four mini palettes in the collection, which just look like this. We have a mini Puss in Boots shadow palette. We have a mini Lord Farquad one. And this one is called What the Farquad. I'm sorry, but that's just genius. And we have a donkey one, which is donkey on the edge. And then we also have obviously the fairy godmother one, can't think of a name then. And this one is the Need a Hero. I need a hero. Black palette. <laughs> so let's go through all of these because the colour story in these are oh, I'm obsessed. So obviously this is Lord Farquad's one. Each of these palettes by way retail for six pound, nine dollars, seven ninety nine euros, or twelve Australian dollars. I feel like these are just amazing for how compact they are. I love that there's like a split, so the top four are mattes and the bottom four are shimmers. It's got a little mirror in it as well, so you can use that for like on the go if you're like traveling. And I just think the price is unbelievable for these palettes, like so good. So yeah, like I said, we have the four mattes at the top and then the four shimmers. So in this one we have Kiss Me, Perfection, Do Lock. Do Lock is a perfect, which actually the next one is called Perfect Place. Then we have Mirror, Crown, Kingdom, Gingy. So this is what Lord Farquaad's palette looks like. And obviously with his palette, it has the little Fs that are in like all of the flags in the movie. And I love, I love the fact that on the back of these little palettes is like the character that like kind of links closely with the person whose palette is. So obviously Gingy is on the back of this one. Oh yeah, and you see, just love these mini palettes so much. Next we have Puss in Boots is one. And on the back of his one is the three <laughs> blind mice. And yes, this is what Puss is palette looks like of his cute little face all of them come with like a little like thing inside but this is what puss looks like again four matte four shimmers and some of the names that we have in here are boot fear me um outlaw furball catnip and then this is what his looks like up close I love the matte choices in here. I love that it's like the Puss in Boots that he draws like in the movie. Yeah, honestly, I just feel like this has been done like the perfectly like little finishing touches to it. Yeah, I'm just like Shrek is such an iconic movie. Oh, I'm obsessed. Then we have Donkey on the Edge. And what? let's have a little guess. What do you think is going to be on the back of this palette? What do you think? Of course, it's Dragon. <laughs> so obviously this is what his palette looks like. And then inside, it looks like this. So his is more like cool toned. And so it has the four mattes and the four shimmers. And this one has like a little imprint of his face on it. And yeah, again, the names like Noble Steed, Waffles <laughs> on the edge. That's a nice boulder. <laughs> like it's just iconic. <gasps> Do you know what I've just realized? They have a little scene on the side. So his is, and in the morning, I'm making waffles. And in the morning, I'm making waffles. <laughs> um, let me go through the other two, because I could only spotted that. Um, Puss in Boots is Wanna Cuddle. And then Lord Farquaad is I Will Have Perfection. <laughs> so yeah, iconic, iconic. Yeah, I Have Revolution have nailed this. I'm so, so impressed. Of course, we have one more left for the mini palettes. So this is the New to Hero one, and hers, hers on the side says, deep fat fried and smothered in chocolate. <laughs> and of course, it has her darling son on the back, Prince Charming. So this is what hers looks like. Again, same thing, four mattes, four shimmers. This one we have Teardrop, oh, iconic. Um, Prince Charming, Bubble, Portion, Tavern, Wand, Hero, Happiness. And obviously in this one, we have like a little imprint of her wand in the palette. And then this is just what her palette looks like. Okay, so that is all of the palettes done. Now moving on to lipsticks. So we have three lipsticks in the collection. We have a donkey one, which looks like this. We have dragon's lipstick and we also have gingy as well. And these retail for five pound. Unbelievable. So yeah, five pound, $10, 6 99 euros or 10 Australian dollars. And let's see what these look like. So you can see that how like the top corresponds with what the color of the lipstick is. So obviously Donkey Dragon and Gingy. Again, we have some little stains on the side. So this one is I'm a donkey on the edge. And then we have um, for Dragon, it's just reeking of feminine beauty. 
And then for Gingy, <laughs> his says, not my gun drop buttons. Oh, honestly, so excited for this collection. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's obvious in my video, but yeah, I love Shrek so much. And then that is Gingy's swatch. That is absolutely stunning, beautiful. Ooh, ooh, it smells really nice. Formula of these, ooh. Yeah, so that is Dragon's one. It looks like this. So yeah, that is Dragon's lipstick. And then going on to Donkey's, his looks like it's more of like a nudie color. Packaging again, beautiful. Oh yes, yeah, so the nude one is the same formula as the middle one. Whereas I feel like Gingy's is a bit more, I don't know how to explain it. It's like, these are more creamy. This is creamy, but I feel like this would last a lot longer. Whereas these would be a lot more moisturizing. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I'm very happy with that. So that is Donkey's lipstick. There's also a transformation lip balm in the collection. This retails for five pound, ten dollars, six ninety nine euros, or ten Australian dollars. I'm going to, have to show you the packaging of this because this has been done just beautifully. There's but she was possessed with a terrible curse by dear a lovely princess. By night, a hideous ogre. And I just love that, especially for like a transformation lip balm as well. I just thought that was quite clever. Again, packaging is stunning. Like, re I really, really like it. This is what it looks like. So it's one of them ones that kind of like react when you put them on and it's like a different kind of pink for everybody. So I'm just gonna pop it on my hand so you can see. There, it's like a soft little pink on my skin. So yeah, it's just nice hydrating lip balm, but obviously it transforms from green to pink. Again, perfect for Fiona. I don't even think you are ready for this next one. It is, oh, oh my God, so adorable. We have a gingy highlighter. Oh my God, this is so cute. So this is like in like a little tin. Gingy packaging. Oh, I can't cope with the cuteness. So this is what it looks like. So this is the Gingy Highlighter, and this retails for eight pound, ten dollars, eight ninety nine euros, or fifteen Australian dollars. Obviously, this is going to be too dark for my complexion, but I would use this as an eyeshadow, and there was no way on this earth that I would not pick this up just because of how cute it is. <laughs> the packaging is absolutely adorable. It's like an actual tin. This is going to be a little bit too dark for my complexion. I will give it a try just in case I can get away with it with like a light hand, but I can also use this obviously as an eyeshadow as well. So yeah, that's little, little gingy highlighter. Yeah, love that. Absolutely love it. One of the things that I love about this collection is that we also have like a skincare product in here. So we have a mud mask. I mean, it's so fitting for the collection, like it's so clever. So this is the Don't Stomp on My Swamp face mask. And it's like a mud mask. So it has like Beware Ogre on the side and then it has Shrek on the side. Oh my God, I just think this is just funny as, I just think it's so funny. This is what it looks like and then that's the actual packaging. This is the Swamp Beware of Ogre's Swamp Clay Mask. And this retails for £10, $14, €11.99 or 20 Australian dollars. And then the actual mud mask itself looks like this. Oh my God. It smells so nice. I don't know what it actually smells like. It gives me like a bit like a vanilla, like vanilla kind of scent to it. Oh, I cannot wait to try this and to try it and put it on whilst I'm wearing the next product. Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. <laughs> so, so this is the Shrek and Revolution I'm All Ears headband. So when you put it on, you look like a little ogre. Like imagine this with the face mask on. Oh, I actually cannot wait. Um, so yeah, this is the ogre ear makeup headband. This is six pound, eight dollars, six ninety nine euros, or twelve Australian dollars. You best believe I will wear this for one of the videos that I do on my YouTube channel, reviewing everything. <laughs> I just think it's adorable. Oh, I love it so much. Yeah, that is the headband and the mud mask. So if you are into Shrek, but you're not really like maybe into makeup that much, but you want to get something from the collection, this would be really, really nice one to get and really like good one to get a picture of you wearing as well. Yeah, love that. We have three items left in the collection, I told you. This was a biggie and a goodie. So the next thing that we have is the Fairy Godmother Magic Wand Brush Set. So this is what it looks like. 
So this retails for £18, $22, €18.99 or 36 Australian dollars. Losing my, my voice there. And let's see what this looks like when you open it up. So it has four brushes inside. Obviously it has the little star on the end. So you can be like, boop. <laughs> and then it has this, which I thought it was going to be like, you know, that glitter that gets all over the place, but it's a smooth glitter. So yeah, it's like a little brush bag. Let's open her up and have a look inside. So yeah, you can pop some of your brushes in there and it helps just keep it protected. So yeah, fairy godmother for a set. And it says on the side of it, with just a wave of the magic wand. <laughs> This collection is making me want to go and watch Shrek back to back, back to back. <laughs> I'm obsessed. And of course, there's a mirror in the collection, second from last. This is the Magic Mirror, and this retails for £10, $15, €11.99 or 20 Australian dollars, and it says, voted fairest in the land on the back of it. So this <laughs> is just what it looks like. It's got like a holographic um, reflection on it, and it has obviously the, the handle. And then this is what the mirror looks like. I haven't took the plastic off one second. There we go. That's it all nice and fresh. <laughs> so yeah, this is what the mirror looks like. Like the reflection on it is so, like it's, yeah, I just love it. So clever. So impressed with this whole collection. I really am. <laughs> so yeah, that is the mirror. And then last but not least is a cosmetic bag. And you can fit everything and your kitchen sink in this bad boy. <laughs> so this is the Happily Ever After makeup bag and this retails for £12, $18, €12.99 or 24 Australian dollars. This bag is absolutely huge. You can fit like half of the collection in this bag. Like it is, yeah. You all know I love my, <laughs> my cosmetic bags. I love my storage bags. So yeah, I can fit absolutely loads in this bag. But like if I put it compared to my phone, yeah, that's what I mean. It is a big bag. So yeah, that is everything in the collection. What do you think? I'm absolutely buzzing. <laughs> like, I just think this collection is just iconic. Like absolutely iconic. And I feel like all the little like pieces of it like the little sayings on it the little characters on the back of the palettes and stuff I feel like it's just been done so well I'm so happy with it and um, I'll tell you my plan for my review so you might also see that this video is also going to be on Revolution's YouTube channel I don't know if it's going to be the same day that I upload mine or what and um, I'm just doing it for work as well as doing it for my own channel too so here is my plan if you're not watching this on launch day these videos will already be on my youtube channel if you search on youtube shrek revolution loose stevenson all my videos will come up on shrek and you can watch everything if not if you're watching this on the 19th of october these videos will be coming tomorrow the day after and the day after that so on the 20th of october which will be tomorrow i'm going to review the happily ever after palette which was like the big blue one the lip balm the gingy highlighter one of the lipsticks and also the brush sets so that's going to be tomorrow's video on friday friday's video i'm going to review the clay mask the headband i'm going to pop out of my head and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to do one eye with shrek's palette and one eye with fiona's palette and then I'm also going to try one of the lipsticks in that video as well. And then on Saturday, the 22nd of October, I'm going to review the four palettes and one of the lipsticks. So with the four palettes, what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically do one eye with one palette, one eye with the other, and again and again. So I can review all four of the mini palettes in one video, okay? Hope that makes sense. <laughs> um, if you're watching this after the 19th to the 22nd of October 2022, all the videos are already on my channel please please go and check them out um, and let's all pray that I don't get burnt out doing this because I'm starting ahead I'm filming this reveal video on the 16th of October so hopefully I'll be ahead of myself anyway but yeah I just I'd love to know what you think of this collection I think it's banging I'm not gonna lie I think it's so good <laughs> um, and I can't wait to get my reviews up for you um yeah love you so much thank you so much and I will hopefully see you tomorrow for my Shrek video or if you're watching this um, way into the future. I'll hopefully see you on another video very, very soon. And don't forget to search my name with Shrek and Revolution and other videos will come up. Yeah. Love you so much. Thank you so much. Peace out, motherfucker. <laughs>